After back and forth conversations between Adeloupe's counsel Roland Mantanotnia and solid waste receiver Gershman Brickner and Bratton, an agreement was reached at this morning's hearing held at the U.S. District Court of Guam. Key players from both sides met in private for almost an hour, and after the meeting was over, Gov Guam announced that it will withdraw its objection to the receiver's billing. On May 9th, Mantanotnia filed his request to vacate the last four payments made to GBV, amounting to more than $500,000 because it was considered highly suspicious. Also in the objection, Mantanotnia said that there was a violation of a court order because the receiver failed to provide invoices to Gov Guam for review. In response to his objection, GBB's attorney Joyce Tang challenged her counterpart, saying his claims are incorrect. But the dispute is now over as the two parties resolve the issue at today's hearing. Tang explains the agreement to the court that for any new billing, they will follow this procedure. The receiver will provide a more detailed billing. If Gov Guam has any questions regarding the billing, Gov Guam will contact GBB for further clarification. If the billing is still disputed, Gov Guam has 30 days to file an objection and objections won't delay payment. The receiver has then 14 days to respond. However, if the court determines that the billings are unreasonable, fees will be taken out of the 10% retainage or the next approved billing. Mantanonia gives the following statement after the agreement was made. Gov Guam, as a steward of the public funds, believes it has the duty to ensure the proper spending of the people's monies, especially in these challenging times. The agreement gives the people of Guam a voice and a procedural mechanism in the review of the cost of the consent decree receivership. Gov Guam remains committed to complying with the requirements of the consent decree, which includes an on-schedule environmental closure of ORDOT, projected to be completed by December of next year and a timely transition of the management of Guam Solid Waste Authority to the GSWA Board. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.